What's going on everybody? Another 30 and lost video. And this one, bear with me, uh, because this one's gonna be special. Special to me. All these videos are for myself. <laughs> but, um, I thought I was over this shit. Um, uh, I'm sure the title says something that had to do with fear, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna title it right now, but I know it has to do with fear. Um, I had an epiphany, and it was a, a, a gradual epiphany. It wasn't like immediately, and it was from two stupid things, you know, in the, in the spectrum of life. <laughs> and one was a conversation, and I think it started with a conversation, but before all that, before all that, I made this box, right? I think that's what prompted the conversation. Um, I've, I've told you already in uh, some other videos that I feel like I'm in a box, right? And um, I decided to make a real box. A real box. So I could see it with my own eyes. Something tangible that I could hold and be like, okay, this is, this is what's up. This is what's up. So, um, in here I have a piece of paper that says success on it. Uh, and, and the date, which was, I have a picture. I'm, hopefully, I don't forget to post it. If I forget to post it, it was some, sometime uh, last month. That I, that I put it in there. The whole point is for me to tackle each thing that's uh, keeping me in this box in order to achieve success, whatever that is. And again, it's nothing, it's not necessarily monetarily, but more of me feeling like I am being, uh, uh, like I'm, I'm just doing, you know, something. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've said before, uh, some people misread or don't understand what I'm trying to uh, uh, say when I say that I am uh, that I want to be successful and they're like oh but you have a wife you have a kid you have a job and that's phenomenal and, and that part of life I am successful and that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about right now um, I'm talking about inside P2 when it comes to him and his creative side and and my day-to-day -day routine on what do I do to, to live in this place, you know, and right now I have a job, which is, you know, fine job, whatever, but it's not what I want to be doing <laughs> for the rest of my life, so I'm trying to figure that one out, right, and, um, anyways, but that's what the, that's, success is in there, success is in there, so I have fear on top, um, procrastination, laziness, comfort, excuses, and doubt, I thought those were the, the, the six prominent things that were keeping me in the box. I mean, there's a, you can, <laughs> you can have a box within a box within a box within a box and subcategories and all that shit, but I have this physical box here that um, represents the main things, right? And I, I think the conversation started with the, uh, I was at Home Depot, you know, I visit Home Depot's for work. Um, in uh, one of these Home Depots, I was uh, talking to um, the uh, LP guy, loss prevention, asset protection, whatever they're called right now. And uh, we, we always have, you know, he's a uh, he's, uh, 40-something old dude, physically fit, looks great, um, tall-ass mofo, and um, hustler, hustler. He has his job, he, he works over here, and then he goes and Ubers um, at night, he's, he's, he's hustling. Needless to say, but we always talk because he knows I do YouTube, so we bounce ideas and um, just try to be a little motivational for each other. And um, I had shown him the the pictures of the box, and he's like, "Yo, fear is the one thing that keeps anyone grounded. It's like the main thing that that's your worst enemy, right? Your worst enemy is fear." And I was thinking about it, and I'm like, "Yeah, that's right. You know, I I, I have it on top for a reason." I, I, but I, I don't think I understood to the point where it played in in in, in me like the 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 kind of barrier it is to me because I thought I was over most of the fears you know I I don't mind you know I'm myself on my videos I talk to people I have no problem you know those kind of fears so I you know I send out uh, you know was in 2011 they, they, that crazy email that I sent Ashley Wood to work at 3A which I was able to do I accomplished like holy crap I was scared beyond my mind but I did that you know I went to shoot that pilot that never went anywhere for TV that was crazy uh, but I went and you know 
I wasn't afraid at all. Um, I still build my my stuff. Like, oh, give me a second. Oh, no, no, importante. But um, but yeah. So I I thought I was over that hump of fear of of failure or whatever. And yeah, and I failed so many times in my life. I have failed so many times. So I th I'm like, ah, whatever, bro. You failed. Who cares? But um. But coming to find out, I was watching Tomb Raider, out of all things, Tomb Raider. I was in the theater, and I think again, like I said, it was it was the conversation in two stupid things. Um, but I think Tomb Raider is probably the stupidest thing just because it's a freaking movie, um, video game movie, uh, which I enjoyed by the way. But um, I think her dad was telling her how he underestimated. Um, she thought he was gonna say something negative, but she said he said bravery or whatever. And, um, you know, I was taking a look at, at her character and her arc and how she was just doing her shit. She didn't give a crap. And she was essentially fearless. And for some reason, that connected with me. And I'm like, damn, bro. And I just started thinking about it. I have an email. You know how I told you a few uh, uh, months ago that I was going to email the people on the TV and I was going to talk to the guy over here, I, the, the production company over here? I haven't done that yet. I'm, I'm scared to talk to that guy and destroy whatever, you know, so I say something wrong or whatever, and that's it, that's the one time chance, and you're gonna destroy it, and it's a wrap, right? And, and that just came to mind, my holy shit, bro, you, well, you haven't even talked to the guy, and again, if you don't talk to him, nothing happens, but if you talk to him, at least something happens. It, it, oh my, look, so that connected with me really, really hard, and then, um, um, a few days ago, I was watching um, uh, this do documentary series on Netflix. It's called um, what is it? Culture Rapture. Rapture, right? It's about rap, um, culture, all this crap. And the first artist that they did was Logic. And as you know, I'm a I'm a fan of Logic. Um, I love his music and everything. But watching this motherfucker go through everything he went, not lose hope essentially have no fucking fear and if he did holy crap I didn't care and get to where he's at it, it's just like bro 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 fear plays a bigger part you've been underestimating that fear so you think you're you know when I was writing procrastination and laziness and doubt all that shit stems from right here because I'm afraid to do anything right when it comes to certain things so then I don't do anything, then I just sit here, and I'm lazy as fuck, then I start procrastinating, then I start doubting myself because then I'm not doing anything, bro, and then I'm like, oh, you know, you got that comfort of having a job, you're in the house, blah, 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 but, and of course you start making excuses, <laughs> but there's, you can make a big excuses, so it was, it was, it was eye-opening because again, I thought I was over this whole fear shit like I'm like ah, I'm, I'm over but you're not so the fact that I was it, it's funny how I was self-aware to understand that I was scared of you know screwing that even though there's no relationship at all but like screwing that opportunity there might not even be opportunity but screwing it up but then I, I wasn't aware aware enough to see that that was happening throughout and that that was literally stopping you in your tracks. So, it was crazy. Um, so, Pito, yeah, there you go, bitch. Uh, you were essentially blind to the fear of, I mean, failure. It's straight up. It says failure. Failure to communicate the right way and screw up that relationship. Failure to um, contact uh, the people at that other production company in California that I know. And you know, screw up that relationship, or not get the response that I want back, or I don't know, I don't know. Just, just failure in general, failure in general. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I was on a, a epiphany, like I said, a three, <laughs> three part epiphany. Jesus Christ! Uh, give me a second, guys. This is more important. Um, three part epiphany, but uh, I just wanted to share because I am sure I'm not the only one that things that are over this hump or whatever hump and then you realize holy shit I'm I'm really not uh, you need that just you need somebody to open your eyes man and thank God 
I had, you know, I'm always talking to this boy over here and a freaking movie that I saw the other day in a, in a quick documentary all, you know, stacked right after each other, literally just went, pow! Oh, shirt! <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, um, I recommend making one of these. It's, it's really awesome. I always have it on view. I don't care who sees it. Um, I really haven't come in and see it yet, but if they ask, I'm like, yeah, this is the box I'm in. I have no shame, and uh, I mean, I'm showing you guys. I mean, <laughs> I'm showing a <laughs> bunch of strangers. You think I can't? It doesn't matter. It's, di it's different, though, with people that know you. But, but don't be um, ashamed or scared or anything to show this to anybody. I keep it on view all the time. I hold it. I read it every single time, and I'm trying to figure out what to do to just destroy this bitch. Um, because once I take care of this, then hopefully everything else starts coming down and one day I'm going to be able to open this box and see that success in there. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I appreciate you guys listening. I mean, this is just me ranting to myself and, um, yeah, so, uh, let me know if you're in a similar situation. Uh, let me know if you're going to make your own box, if you're in a box, if you're not in a box and you're successful. Let me know how you made it happen, bro, and that's what's up. And again, success, we, we tend to, to, to attribute success, to, I, I don't know if that's the right word, with, with money and, and materialistic stuff. If you are happy with what the fuck you do, sincerely, 100% happy, no matter anything else, that to me is success right there. That to me is 100% success because you're waking up every day fucking pumped up. Right? I wake up fucking pumped up because I'm excited to, to do my videos and stuff, but then I still have to go to a job that I'm waste. you know, I, I spent a lot of time on that job, and I wish I was spending that more creatively. I think creative is the key word for me. I don't feel, and I've said it before, but I wish I was doing something more creative, right? Not just being essentially a drone, making it a company money, blah, 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 whatever. So, and again, I'm not stupid. I know it pays the bills and all that stuff. I just want you to understand <laughs> where I'm coming from, right? But, um, but yeah, so if you're, you're in that spot already, give, give, give us a, a, a little uh, scoop into your brain and how you manage this because anything helps. Anything helps. So, yeah, guys, uh, get your P2 box ready. <laughs> your, your, your success box. It's all in here. All I need is me to become a knife and open it up. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if this helps anybody, that will make me even happier. But, um, but yeah, I'm not really sure exactly what the steps to take on this is. I just realized that I was trapped by this to a point where I didn't know. So, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated on how I'm, I'm going to figure out how to open this box. Alright? Anyways, guys. I'm out. Peace!